Hello, my name is Stephanie Toman. I'm the program manager for the ECDL uh, European Computer Driving Licence Testing Centre at Coventry University. The reason you'll be watching this video is you're considering the remote testing that we will have at Coventry University. This remote testing is for people that cannot come on campus, uh, they may not be in the UK at all, and they may not be able to come on campus due to COVID-19. However, if you can come onto campus and take your test, the testing on campus will be very safe and it's in a very large room with very few people in it. All of the precautions will obviously be taken place. If you do decide um, that you don't want to take the test at, um, at the university, then you need to meet some certain requirements and they're as follows. Firstly, you need to be in a quiet testing environment. You can't take these tests in places like an online cafe. Even the library isn't quiet enough because you need to be in an isolated situation whereby you can't be talking to somebody else or somebody can't disturb you. An ideal place would be in, in a bedroom or in a room at home whereby you've got something like do not disturb on the door and you have uh, that quiet environment in order for you to take your test. The test will be um, you, it will be uh, taken with using MS Teams, um, so we will be watching you and your test as invigilators, so you won't be able to look at any open, well, it's not open book, you won't be able to look at any materials, the internet, or talk to anybody um, other than ourselves. And you can only ask us anything with regard to technical issues, we can't answer anything about the tests. You need to check that you've got adequate uh, bandwidth speed, hence the reason you can't really use a place where there's multiple users because you need to download the, the tests onto your um, computer or your laptop. The Atlas testing uh, software has certain requirements so you're going to need a PSI plugin and I'll have a look at that together. Net Framework 3.5 and full Microsoft Office 2016. You may even uh, you might may also need to have the Chrome extension. We highly recommend that you use Chrome for these tests. What you also need to do on Chrome is run your diagnostic test on the device you're planning to use and complete it but suspend it before booking a test in. So in other words, you have to run the diagnostic, show that you can use it on the medium that you're being tested with, and that has to happen before you can book your test. If on the day um, anything doesn't meet requirements, then I'm afraid that test will not go ahead and you will need to book it for another time. Okay, so that quiet testing environment, as I said, not in a cafe, not with your friends, in the house or any other unsuitable place. It's got to be quiet, peaceful, and you will not be disturbed. You have no materials related to the test in reach. This will be checked via MS Teams at all times. You need adequate bandwidth. So I'm going to show you how to, um, how to find what your bandwidth is on the device that you're going to take your test on. So I'm just going to um, show you this screen. So what you need to do is you need to put internet speed test, you can put Google on the end, but it doesn't have to be. Just run your speed test here. It'll start going round and you'll start to, to get a result after a little while. There we go. So when you run the speed test, um, you should get something like that's needed is down speed um, from the internet to your computer at least 20 and up speed from your computer um, at least 10 um, so that should be sufficient to uh, do your test. So here on this slide you can see the example of the result of that uh, test that we did on the bandwidth that's a sort of an idea of what you're looking for. Okay if we go to the next slide we've got to be looking at our test uh, software requirements so you can see that you need the office application 2016 um, and if you don't have access to that and you're 
Office 365 doesn't work when you try your diagnostic, then I do have uh, some guides on how to get you to get access to Remote Anywhere or uh, use the VPN at the university. So we can organise that if that's a problem. You also need to check if you've got a PSI plugin, Chrome extension, because we strongly re recommend you use Chrome. And as I said earlier, if you haven't got the full MS Office 2016, we can have a look at how we're going to do that. So if we go on to um, our testing system, the testing requirements, so just come back. The way you find them is to check it here. So you've got your check system requirements. We're going to check our Office 2016, 2019, see if it's available and it works okay. If there's any problem with the other things, like I said, the PSI plugin, the installing of the extension for Chrome, we can get them from here. So if we just run that, you should see that everything goes okay. It will in my case because we've got all of the office stuff that we need. And then eventually it will go over and it will allow me to progress. So I know that that worked. So as I said earlier, if you do have error problems coming up, um, then you do have these areas down here whereby you can find those necessary plugin and Chrome extension. And remember, uh, there's sometimes up here in the corner when you're on a test, um, you'll see a pop-up. So you have to allow pop-ups through to let the platform in. So you might see that as well. When you run the PSI plugin, you'll have to run the wizard. It's fine, it's very safe and it's okay. So you'll just finish that. And when you go to the Chrome extension uh, buttons, then it will give you this and then you just add the Chrome extension to the test. If you've done those things and your test is still not, doesn't seem to be running, you still get errors, try an F5 function key to refresh it or even log out and log in again. So try to make sure that that does turn over and work for you. So now what we've done is you've got your test requirements uh, all sorted. You need to run a diagnostic, the diagnostic you're going to take the test on. You need to make sure that it runs correctly on the device, the same device that you're going to do that test on remotely. And then you can suspend the test. We can check that it's run okay from our end. You can suspend it. You can do the normal things like get feedback. Uh, you can hold on to it, clear it down, and use it again, uh, sort of nearer to your test time, if you like, as a way of refreshing those skills. Or you can just look at particular areas. So you've done all of that. You've got a good place to do your test, quiet environment. Your bandwidth speed is fine. You've got your diagnostic running, no problem. Also, you need to make sure that you have a webcam because we're going to be using MS Teams. And obviously using MS Teams, we need to be able to see you taking your test, hence the webcam. Drop us a, an email through ecdl.ms uh, at coventry.ac.uk and ask if you can book your test. All of those things that we've asked you to do will be clarified. Um, and once that's done, we will then um, book your test and we will get in touch with you. So once your test is booked, you do need to have access to uh, MS Teams. All students have access to an account uh, as part of their student account, so you shouldn't have a problem with that. So you need to download a version of that if you haven't already. And you will receive an invite via Teams once you've been booked in for your test date. Uh, you use that invite link to access the test or access us to begin with. Um, and we will give further details on what you need to do um, on the invite as well as when you actually join us. So we're going to use this software to um, re note how you are doing your test. So it will be watching you do your test. Um, you will not be able to speak to, to anybody while you're doing that test, leave the room whilst you're doing that test, and you cannot have any related information near you. So at the beginning of the test, we will do something like ask you to show the environment that you're taking your test in with your laptop or your computer monitor. And, uh, and then we will be uh, communicating with you appropriately in that test, because at the end of the day, you want that test to be viable and not to have it void and um, because uh, it has to be it has to be proven when you take these tests that you are doing them correctly in order for that qualification to still mean something out there in the employment world 
So that's how we'll do, but we'll explain it all to you. So if you definitely decide that you are going to do your testing remotely with us, then please look at all of these options, all these requirements, and prepare yourself for doing that, and then contact us, and we'll get that organised for you. Thank you for taking the time to watch this.